All right, so um, here we are. I'm Bill Tomlinson. This is Don. Hi. Um, and we're here with Chris Goff, uh, who runs a, an organization called Peter's Exchange here at UCI. Um, the goal of uh, Peter's Exchange is to deal with some of the electronic waste that comes out of the campus. And so what we want to do is to ask, uh, ask you, Chris, could you tell us a little bit about how, how Peter's Exchange works and what it does? Sure. What we are is anything not of use to the campus we pick up and bring in here and try and sell it to the public or back to campus in different departments. Um, anything from computers, office furniture, uh, lab equipment, anything that has value to someone, we're trying to sell it as opposed to putting it straight into the e-waste recycling stream. Okay. Um, what we do, we pick up items on campus free of charge and we bring it here. We try and, again, like I was saying, sell it to the public first and when we do sell it, we return 65% of the profits back to the department that gave us the item. So when we sell something for a lot of money, the departments in turn get a good return on their, on their item. Okay, great. Um, what else? We um, offer free electronic waste collection, which is when we're out on campus pitching, picking up the items that we can sell, um, many items we can't and which we just set aside for electronic waste recycling. Okay. Can you show us around some of the stuff you have and point out some of your items? Sure. Okay. Um, pretty much, as you see here, we have a collection of everything. <laughs> we have file cabinets, desks, park benches. <laughs> um, That's we cool. have a series of chairs, both the desk and guest chairs. We got a couple of interesting things. Right here, we have what's called a roto vapor. It is just cool. If you it look at the cool. glassware, um, I think of it as just a giant still. <laughs> but can you use it for that? It, you, it can be used for that, but as its scientific purpose is along those lines, though. So okay. it's not too far just from what it looks like. Scientific. It just It's not too far from what it looks like. Okay. What other stuff? Uh, we have... What, what, what's this? It's a, what's it, a power supply? That's for? a power supply. It's a laboratory power supply. Okay. For what? You got me. All right. Very Many nice. of the items in here, I would have no clue what they're for. This, though, I can tell you what it's for. It's a stereo taxic. Uh, what you, it's kind of hard to imagine, but basically you'd put a rat right where your hand is. <laughs> okay. And uh, do a lot of brain work on it. Oh, my goodness. So it's All kind right. of interesting. Lots of cool things. Um, so what, what kind of information technology do you have in here? So I, I saw a laptop back there, and there's a printer. What other what other things that have have computers in or around them? Well, this guy. Um, this most of the fun. items in here actually have a computer in them. Okay. Most of the lab equipment has, at the least, a, you know, just a printed circuit board. Okay. Um, we have over there on the shelves. We have a series of monitors and computers that we have for sale. Okay. So, if something isn't good enough to make it into this showroom of cool stuff, what happens to it then? Um, that we put into our e-waste recycling stream. How we do that is we have um, basically large six-foot lettuce bins, which we'll be showing you in a little bit, and we break it into two sections, either general electronic waste and CRT monitors, which CRT monitors also include LCD, plasma, TVs. So basically it's a TV and everything else okay. is how we separate it. And that we can show you yeah, when you're we, ready. Should we go take a look? Sure. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what you can see here is basically this is what I was talking about when I was talking about the bins of electronic waste. We have it separated into two sections, monitors or MCRTs, and basically something like this is every, considered everything else. Um, we have these pallets here that um, if we're able to not use a box, we don't use a box because the box takes up, um, it, it takes time to make the box. Right, right, so sure. if we don't have to use a box and we could just use a little bit of shrink wrap instead, then we're doing great with that. So who, who takes it? Uh, we have a company called Electronics Recyclers International. They um, are based out of Fresno, California. They um, handle all our electronic recycling. They are um, basically to, to take care of any of the recycling of the UC campus. The company, has, there's several hoops the company has to go through. They have to be certified by the Basal Action Network, um, their e-steward certification program. 
which is basically just saying we're going to re recycle it responsibly. Mm -hmm. We're not going to put it in landfills. We're not going to ship it overseas. Uh, we're just going to take care of it appropriately the way it's supposed to be done. And they also have to be audited by the Environmental Health and Safety Department of two UC, different UCs. So, for example, UC Irvine and UC Riverside both have to go to their place of business where they handle the e-waste re e recycling and go through their checklists of, okay, yes, they're doing this right, they're doing this right, they're not letting it sit out, they're handling it appropriately. So you've got, what, like 20 pallets in here? Uh, in Maybe here, more? we do, but we're, this is our kind of our overflow for the e-waste. If you look kind of back over there, we have about 20 more pallets. Can we go look at that? Yeah, we can check it out. Okay. go for it. We have about 20 more pallets to be sent out. And so this is, how long does it take to, to make this much e-waste? Okay. Um, this is probably about two and a half to three months. Okay, so we, this is a, a, a third or a quarter of a, or a sixth of a year. The, we'll, we say okay. it's about a fifth because we run an average about five shipments a year, which okay. each shipment is 24 to 26 pallets, and they just send a semi down from Fresno. We load it up, and they take it they take it off our hands, and then they go through their job of taking care of it appropriately. Do you have to pay them, or do they pay you? They pay us um, a little bit of money, actually. The e-waste, it costs us, I think we're currently at like $6 a box for them to provide us with the boxes, and we get about 600 pounds of e-waste a box, which covers the cost of the box. Mm. Um, the monitors, we get a bit more to where we actually make a few dollars on the monitors, um, just because they're worth a lot more money mm -hmm. as far as the glass, the gas, and all the items inside. Okay. So we don't really lose any money on the recycling, but we don't. it's not a cash cow. Okay. <laughs> High end blender, yes. Right. You got a kind of a sterilizer? It looks like a test tube sterilizer, maybe? Um, a heater? To me, it looks like rotisserie. Big it's a big toaster. It, it kind of looks like a big chicken rotisserie, but it is for um, laboratory, I believe, test if you need to rotate your test tubes. Uh -huh. Exactly what? I have no idea. Keep it from settling or something. Yes. Whole, pa whole palette of monitors, CRTs, Correct. old school. Got it. More printers. Really big CRT. Wow. And the items you see here inside this are the ones that really nobody wanted or were beyond repair, beyond parts. Yeah. Because most of the thing, a lot of the things we sell in here, people buy for parts. Just like, for example, a 30 year old VHS recorder. Well, if it wasn't so beat up when we got it, there could have been some parts in there mm -hmm. for somebody. There's a cardiac output computer. I have some, I have my notes so I don't have yeah. to yeah. forget to remember them. Uh, kind of just roughly how much in weight we go through each year. Each shipment, which we do about five times a year, is about 15,000 pounds of e-waste in general. So about 10,000 pounds of what we call the general e-waste, which is just not monitor, and about 5,000 pounds of monitors. Okay. okay. And so we do that about five times a year. Some years four, some years six. So we just go with the general. So 25,000 pounds of monitors a year. Correct. And that has actually gone down in the past couple, in the past three years since I've been here, just because now instead of a 70 pound CRT monitor, it's they're running a 10 pound plasma. So it's, we're using the same number of boxes, but it's taking eight, five to six times as many monitors mm -hmm. to get to the same weight sure. level. And to think about how that scales across UC campuses, so I think there are about 25,000 students at UCI. So that's about one pound per student per year of monitors. Of monitors. Of monitors produced by the university. That's not Correct. student monitors. That's not like Correct. home use monitors. That's like research labs, um, places where students do their homework, I think. Um, yes and no. We do um, permit recycling of like the, the housing, student housing. Okay. A um, couple of the housing departments, such as mostly the grad student housing, mm -hmm. they will have a good amount of monitors and e-waste. Okay. The um, undergrads, not so much, but the graduate students where they're maybe living with their families, okay. they're good. they have a, a lot more. Which okay. We have a couple of pickup locations at a couple of the housing departments because of so much e-waste that they put out. Okay. Um, also, in addition, uh, we have a lot of just computers. Um, PCs, Macs, um, pretty much have about 25,000 pounds go through here each year. 
Now what we do with most of them is we try and resell them. So anybody that can use them for parts, we put them very inexpensive, we put them out there for $5. And just say, if there's a part you need, buy the whole, buy the whole thing, take off all the parts you need, and keep it. Anything else, please recycle it. But we try not to just automatically throw it into the e-waste. Sure. If somebody can take it and use it, many of these are fully working computers that need a hard drive or need um, RAM. If they're if they're too old for us, that's when we'll put them out in the five dollar. Please take it and use it. Um, if it's newer, we'll we'll put a whatever the license operating system is on it and put it on our shelves to sell back campus or anybody that needs it. Mm -hmm. So anybody that needs an inexpensive computer, we're we're usually running about three to five years behind the current technology just because of when people buy it. Three to five years, the newest comes out. That's when they get a new one, we get the old one. Do you ever do any like cell phones? Do you get cell phones through here too? Um, we get cell phones through here. Most of the cell phones end up going to, sadly end up going through e-waste recycling because they're missing parts, missing batteries, or- Broken screens. Or like Motorola StarTac that are 15 years old. Mm -hmm. um, the newer ones, you know, the iPhones and some Blackberries, uh, we put them on, we do have people that look for them. Okay. And let me check my notes. Sure. Um, so this is just a little bit of a addition to us. Uh, we return about four hundred thousand dollars back to campus. That's kind of how I was going along the lines of we sell the items for. Well, we have a fifty dollars threshold. Anything over fifty dollars, we return sixty five percent back to the department. And last year we were about four hundred thousand dollars return. Wow! Wow, that's great. So you're able to capture four hundred thousand dollars of the e waste that's coming through. Just the value in that, just by selling it to people who are going to reuse it. Correct. And that's not even including the recycling part. And the recycling part, you said, is basically a wash. Yeah, the okay. e the e-waste recycling is a wash. We that's kind of what we go for. We're going for not taking any state funds, and we're trying to support ourselves via what we can sell. Great. Do you have any competitors in the area? Um, like well, are there are there like not non UCI organizations that are eager to get their hands on the four hundred thousand dollars worth of well, yes. Stills. <laughs> yes. Well, there's a lot of um, e-waste recycling companies that will come in and try and do items on campus for free. Okay. Uh -huh. Which that's, I mean, we're all for the e-waste recycling. But the only problem with that is once the property is out of our hands and out of our approved recyclers' hands, we don't have any control over it. Mm. And our focus here is having control of making sure that it's recycled appropriately. Yeah. So once it's out of our hands, or our hands of our approved e-waste recycler, who knows where it's gonna end up. It could end up in a landfill because mm -hmm. there is good money in electronic waste. If you if you don't care where it goes or if you're if there's any laws you're kind of avoiding, you can make a lot of money from e-waste. Just by having people pay you to take it off your hands and then just dumping it in a landfill. Correct. So one thing about working here with you guys is that you've audited that whole waste stream and you know at least to some degree that the people that you're working with are doing things in an appropriate legal way. Correct, because um, we are responsible from the time it's purchased to the time it is completely recycled. It's UCA property, so we're responsible for it, so we do our best to make sure that it's handled correctly. Right. Right. Um, so, so um, yeah, I think we just, um, so you have a lot of stuff here. How do you, do you always just sell it to the, the public or do you have other ways of selling it as well? Uh, we sell it um, several ways. You know, when we have vehicles, which we run several vehicles here through a year, uh, we post Craigslist listings just because of it being local. But on items that are easy to ship, not easily broken, uh, we sell through eBay. Huh. Uh, last month alone, I believe we made about six thousand dollars in eBay sales, oh, of which, uh, of which our cut is probably going to be about less than two thousand, and the department that gave it up. It's going to be doing pretty good with a little bit over four thousand dollars. And how many items is that? Was that like a thousand things or like ten things? Or? No, it was about uh, twelve boxes of automation that okay. was the university wasn't using anymore, and they've had sitting in a warehouse or in, just in their storage, and said, "Hey, see what you can do with it." Awesome. We couldn't do anything locally. Nobody around, none of our local customers had any interest in it. But as soon as we put them on eBay, within a day, we had sold them all as sold them all. All right. Well, thanks, Chris. This has been great. It's been really helpful to, to get a sense for 
um, how e-waste is processed here at UCI, um, and I think our students will really appreciate it. So thank you very much yeah, for, yeah. for taking the thank time. You for, thank you for coming in. All right. Come yeah. back with a checkbook in a few hours. <laughs> Come on down. We'll be happy to sell it to you.